got some breaking news out of the camp of the Bunnies and the Penrith game. John Cartwright wants a life ban for Panthers trainer. Now, this trainer had an incident late last year against Parramatta hmm. in a critical final. He was, what was he, um, got a fine 25000 He got fined 25 k and he actually got suspended from being able to act in his role as the orange shirt for the Panthers for mm. the grand final and for the preliminary final mm. last year. So, look, he has got form. If what's alleged is true, mm. then I can understand why John Cartwright, as a dad braith, yes. has wanted to jump on the front foot the way that he has. Obviously, the father of Jed, so he'd know more than what we know about the incident and what the trainer actually said to his son. He said, if it's true a trainer was sledging an opposition player, then he should be banned for life. It's the lowest act in the game, the lowest of the low. That's not on. You shouldn't have to cop any sledge off a effing trainer. It's the height of being a coward. As an ex-player, I tend to agree with John. I, I, I oh, don't, you, I don't think... Life ban. No, depends, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying a life ban. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is the trainer should shut up He's got nothing to do should. with the game. And why is yeah. he talking to the first grade rugby league players while he's on the field? He should, he should be suspended from this week's game and he should be fined again. It's and he should it's have to pay the fine too, not the Penrith yeah. Club. So what's been alleged is, we should clarify, Jed Cartwright, you know, the Cartwright surname is obviously synonymous with Penrith. Merv was the <coughs> founder of the club. John won premierships with the club. Bryce played at the club. He'll play for Parramatta this weekend. But Jed was at Penrith. And he had a number of injury issues when he was at the club. He had a broken back, he had disc mm. issues in his lower back. And this trainer, Pete Green, he treated the Jed at the time. As the physio. Yes. So And he's been he had a go at him on the weekend over something to do with his back. Which is just well out of line. Mm. That's Absolutely. well out of line. He, he was treating him for a medical condition as a physio and then was sledging him about it during the game. During the game. And as John Cartwright says. A, a player shouldn't have to cop a sledge of some bloke running a water bottle. Particularly, Candy, the important thing is the guy's got form. And he mm. did it last year. He was involved in the drama and missed the here last Here it is there, Buzz. Yeah. Yes. So what was, what was the incident here? Take us back. Last year, was it, was it the final? So you can see Mitch Kenny lying down on the ground grabbing his ankle. This was week two of the finals last year. Now, Parramatta are flying. They're on the attack. But Pete Green calls for the game to be stopped mm. so that he can attend to Mitch Ken Kenny in back play with this ankle complaint. The Eels were furious at the time. It was a five-minute break in the game. It was a big moment. I remember it now. It was, I remember it was it a five-minute break in the game. It should never have been... Under the rules, you, a, a trainer can only stop the game if they're in danger. Now, given he was clearly behind play at the time, he breached the rules. Or if it was but, uh, his head as well, HIA. Is that right? Uh, no, not if you... No, no, no? no unless he needs, like medical treatment yeah, to get okay. off the field. But even HIA, he's not in any danger. But what happened, it was a cynical play. Here he is at the end of the... He doesn't even see the player, Mitch Kenny, on the ground before he's calling out to the referee to stop the game. It was such well, a cynical play. The referee... Yeah. The, look, now he goes and has a look at him. It's, it's, it was so poor. They should have fixed it. This guy copped... You know, wrap over the knuckles for it. He should just be out of this week well, straight tw away. 25,000 is not... A Wrap over the knuckles. Like, that's not a wet lettuce. Did come out of his pocket? Mm. Did you reckon the club oh, played please, it? please, hoops. Of course they did. Buzz, you reckon they've got form, don't you, the Panthers, when it comes to Well, we, the, I think that we've got another incident we're going to show. Is this here? Here it is here, Buzz. Yeah, here it is, yeah. This Shane was in the, in the final. Shane Elford gives Reid Marnie a spray. Week one, yeah. Yeah, week one of the finals. So, look, I, there he is, Elford there. Reed Marnie having a crack back him, it's unnecessary. So the referee should actually be turned around t telling him to go as well there. Oh, I just don't get... Look, I know the, the, the tactical point to try and get them off their game, but Reed Marnie, it's good on him. He told him to shove it up the you-know-what, and off they went. I, uh, I, I think the NRL have got to do something about this. Uh, I'm not saying this week, Candy, before no, the grand final. No, they should Oh, now, well, but... you can't kick two trainers out of yes, a grand you final. you can. they got more staff there. Oh, the game hasn't look. started, get rid of them. Well, they did it last year. Does that mean they won't, they won't do it again? Well, you've got a few days to go, don't you, before the game. Yeah. And Buzz, oh, why do they deserve to be there? Look, I'd like to know what was actually said. In, in nothing regards. should have been said, Buzz. You know, you know Cody Walker blew up, right? In defence of Jed Cartwright. Yeah, but it doesn't take a lot for Cody to blow up. As Good you on know. Cody for what no, he did. I, yeah. I like what Cody Walker did. I can understand but what I'm saying is... 
Cody can overreact sometimes. We really but need to know. I think he did overreact. Should in this not instance. be allowed yeah. to say one word to the opposition. You're probably right, Kent. Has John Cartwright overreacted? Um, only with the quote, "You should give him life." Now, if it was at a junior park and, and it became a physical altercation, yeah, that's life. But for John, stuff. for John Cartwright, who's well respected in the game. And been around. And been around a long time. For him to come out... Here's after the game here where Cody close. sees this dill pickle over here on the right, <laughs> carried on, tells him to pull his head in. Good on him. Oh, he's a trainer. Seriously, yeah. mate, come yeah. on. Like, mate, you're a physio. Get off.